Chapter 23 of Deuteronomy is a Bible study focusing on community life. It addresses a range of topics. These include hygiene, marriage, and social responsibility. These laws might seem strange today, but they made sense in their time. One set of laws deals with ritual purity. For example, verses 10 to 14 talk about bodily hygiene in the camp. These rules aim to prevent disease and maintain a sacred space. Another section, verses 15 to 16, prohibits returning escaped slaves to their masters. This law shows a remarkable sense of compassion. The chapter also addresses sexual ethics and concludes with laws about lending money and fulfilling vows. These regulations emphasize fairness and honesty in all dealings. While some laws in Deuteronomy 23 may seem outdated today, they reveal timeless values. These values transcend cultural differences and speak to us across millennia. The emphasis on purity reminds us of the importance of hygiene. It also hints at the need for spiritual cleanliness. The protection offered to escaped slaves speaks volumes about compassion. It challenges us to stand up for the oppressed and marginalized in our own time. The regulations on sexual conduct highlight the importance of healthy relationships. The chapter's concern for fairness in financial matters is still relevant. It calls for honesty and integrity in our business dealings, a timeless ethical principle. Deuteronomy 23 offers valuable lessons for today, reminding us that true faith is expressed through actions that reflect love, justice, and compassion. Deuteronomy chapter 23 begins by addressing matters of purity and holiness. These concepts were central to Israelite life and worship. They believed that God, being holy, required them to maintain a certain standard of purity. Verses 10 to 14 discuss hygiene in the military camp. Soldiers were instructed to bury their excrement outside the camp. This practice was not merely about cleanliness, it had spiritual implications. God's presence dwelt among them and they were to keep their surroundings pure. This emphasis on purity extended beyond physical hygiene. It also encompassed moral and spiritual purity. The Israelites were to avoid anything that could defile them in God's eyes. Deuteronomy 23 reminds us that our bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit, and we are to honor God in both our physical and spiritual lives. Deuteronomy 23 doesn't just focus on ritual purity, it also addresses social responsibility. It highlights the Israelites' obligation to care for the vulnerable members of their community. One striking example is the law concerning escaped slaves found in verses 15 and 16. Unlike surrounding nations, Israel was commanded to grant refuge to slaves who had fled from their masters. They were not to be returned, but were to be welcomed into the community. This law was revolutionary for its time. It demonstrated God's compassion for the oppressed and his desire for justice. Deuteronomy 23 also addresses the treatment of foreigners in verse 19. They were not to be mistreated, but were to be treated fairly in business dealings. These laws remind us that faith is not just about personal piety. It's about living out God's love in practical ways. Maintaining justice and fairness within the community was paramount in Deuteronomy. Chapter 23 continues this theme, outlining laws that promote equitable treatment and harmonious relationships. Verses 19 and 20 address economic justice. Israelites were forbidden from charging interest on loans to fellow Israelites. This practice, common in ancient times, often trapped the poor in a cycle of debt. By prohibiting it, God demonstrated his concern for the economic well-being of all members of the community. The chapter also emphasizes the importance of fulfilling vows as seen in verses 21 to 23. Making a vow to God was a serious matter and breaking it was considered a grave offense. These laws, though specific to their time, reveal timeless principles. They remind us that true faith is not just about rituals and ceremonies. It's about living with integrity, treating others with fairness and working to create a just and compassionate society. Deuteronomy, as Moses' final words to the Israelites, carries a powerful message for us today. Though written centuries ago, its themes of covenant faithfulness, social justice and personal holiness remain as relevant as ever. The book reminds us that we are in a covenant relationship with God. He has chosen us, loved us and given us his law for our good. Our response should be one of gratitude, obedience and love.
Deuteronomy also challenges us to be agents of justice and compassion in the world. We are called to stand up for the oppressed, to care for the vulnerable, and to work for the betterment of society. The book's emphasis on personal holiness encourages us to examine our own lives. As we strive to live by these principles, we not only honor God, but also make a positive impact on the world around us. Are you ready for the next chapter? Just click here to go straight to it.